Hi! Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Now, a couple days ago, I bought a plank of wood for me to paint on. Now, the story behind said plank of wood is pretty interesting. I was walking in the art store and I suddenly found the most beautiful thing that I have ever saw in my life a gigantic plank of wood so i ended up buying it and i took it home with me and today we're gonna be painting on it so without further ado let's begin well, let me tell you this thing this thing is huge i mean comparing it to my face it's three times bigger it's so heavy uh, it's like three kilograms or something like that <laughs> it's heavier than a baby but it's in pretty rough condition I mean, I picked it up from the floor of the store, and when you look at it, it's got dust all over it, and scratches, and bumps all over it. I actually think that this is a normal plank of wood. Maybe it's MDF, but I'm not sure. Anywho, we're gonna have to start by sanding it and then cleaning it, so yeah. Look at that, that's all dust. A bit. This is the nasty side right here. After I was done with the whole sanding shenanigans, I started and just the whole plank of wood. And the gesso helps the paint not soak into the wood and also creates a white base coat for the paint to stick on. Now that we're done with cleaning the canvas, we're gonna start sketching our landscape design on it. Because yes, we're going to be doing a landscape. I don't know why, but the monster underneath my bed didn't want me to get the sketch correctly done. So it took me a couple million dozen times to get it right. Okay, so we're done with the sketch. It took me about an hour to get done with it. And it's really hard. So now we're going to start and paint the painting. We're going to start by doing the sky gradient. The process was just me laying down a light blue color, and after I laid set blue down, I went in with a lighter blue color, and I put it down and I blended the two together to create what is a smooth gradient. Once I was done with all of that, I started and I painted the mountains. I painted them a really dark shade of black and blue, and it was just blocking because after that is all done, I will go in and start putting all of the different shapes, colors, and so on. Okay, now if you look at the original reference image, you're gonna see that it's quite the complex beauty. Like, you see there's a lot of complex shapes in it, and I never did something this complex in my life. So I feel like this is a challenge on its own. But you know what, we're gonna try and hopefully this doesn't end up looking trash because it may look trash. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be able to create every single detail in here because I'm human and if I do every single detail in here, I will be sitting here till the next year and I'm not up for that. So I just broke it down into different shapes and, and tried to make it look 3D by adding different colors and shades of set colors and a lot of different shadows. And I think that I achieved that quite well. And I just kept on continuing shading and adding different tones and colors to create a really rocky effect. Okay, so we're done with this little area and it took me about an hour or so to just get done with this whole area because the reference isn't that high quality i mean look at it isn't that high quality and so we're gonna continue and hopefully this you know works out uh i'm really happy with how it came out so now we're gonna go in and paint this gigantic area now, I have been into landscapes as of lately, and I am really enjoying them, and I really love when I paint a landscape. So, if you guys don't like them, or if you guys like them, please feel free to let me know on Instagram. You're more than welcomed, because after all, I'm doing all of this for you guys, not for me. So, I would really love if you guys told me your opinion on the landscapes that I have been doing lately. I mean, my last three videos I've done a landscape in 
said videos so yeah please let me know whether you want me to continue painting landscapes or i go back to painting organs or both so yeah it's very much appreciated from you guys after that i made the horrendous mistake which is when i tried to paint every individual little tree guess what happened because each individual little tree is really tiny because i'm painting on not a really large scale it came out looking terrible okay so i have been working on this area for the past um three hours or so and i just hated with my soul and heart i have been working on it since 8 30 a.m till 11 a.m and i just hate it so what does an artist do in my case i paint over it so yeah all of this hard work gone to waste gone to waste gone to waste goes nothing this is scary man this is like super scary so there is no coming back from this okay we're gonna start by laying some green here Maybe darken it in some areas. You know, try to make it looking better. Hopefully this doesn't end up looking trash. I ended up compromising and I just made them some bushes. Something simple. Something that isn't that hard. Because anything will look better than whatever that was. Okay, so there's only one step done for this painting. Is that I'm gonna do the reflection. I'm gonna copy exactly the same thing that I did up here but down but it's gonna be obviously in less detail because it's water here we're talking about and we're gonna also make a water line and sign it and be done so yeah let's just get into painting the reflection now i started and just painted a blue color for the water and then i made the same thing that i did up with the trees down but then i got a gigantic brush and started blending everything and everything was going great i was having a blast it was turning out so good i thought that this was gonna be all great without any mistakes of course i was wrong because this is me we're talking about here i began and i painted the reflection of the mountain it was all going great until i finished it and realized that it looked like it was a reflection by a mirror it was too detailed so i ended up compromising and painting over it again but say no less because at this point i was actually getting really happy with the painting i was absolutely loving how it was coming out I added all of the little details, I made the waterline. Okay, we're done. We're done with the painting at this moment. Here she is. Look at her. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now, we are going to spray it with this magical device here called varnish. So, yeah. So, let's get started and let's And ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you how the painting turned out. I am so incredibly happy with how it came out. Uh, I really thought that this would be a challenge since I hate painting on wood, but I actually surprisingly do really like painting on wood. So this is something that I enjoyed so much. And if you guys maybe would like a part two, I can do a part two in the future. So until next time, make sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And I've also been putting a lot more effort into my content as of lately. So if you guys enjoy it, make sure to let me know. And yeah, I will see you all next video. Bye.